<laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'll tell you, boy, this has been, whoa, this has been a healing day. All day, I'm telling you, it's been a humorous day, too. Lots of wonderful things happening in every respect. Oh, oh I'll tell you, I mean, that song that I sung, uh, on, uh, at 1 p.m. just a while ago, <laughs> an hour ago, that it was just the most marvelous song, and I'd heard that before many times, but I never stopped to analyze it, and it just really cheered me up in so many ways, and showed me so much uh, about how healing power is depicted in everything about Jesus. Oh, yes. And so, you know, we're continuing that because there was so much to that song that I didn't get a chance to finish the lesson on, on healing because uh, the song was so full of a healing message that that became the healing lesson last time. But I had started to give the principles of the new lesson and only got one or two of them done, and so I had to continue because I don't want to let I don't want the video to go go too long, you know. If in the event that it might have a uh, an error or something in it, you know, and then there'd be too much time tied up there for nothing. And so I try to keep them, you know, uh, around thirty minutes uh, a piece, and uh, or less. And uh, so, <laughs> but this has just been a healing day all the way around. Oh, 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 I tell you, it's just been so funny, the things, uh, everything has just been so uplifting. I mean, the sunshine came up on time this morning, and that's always marvelous. You know, you think about how that, oh, you count on that in the summertime, you know, you count on that, and I, I know I do. I mean, you want to be able to get up at 530, and then you want that sun to come right on up. Because you got things that has to be done, you know, and it comes up, and usually in June it comes up in uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, during the last part between June the 20th and July 20th, it comes up around 5:30. You know, it's already light enough to see at 5:30, and then uh, and then 30 days later it's at six o'clock, and so uh, it'll be that be up by six o'clock. It'll be light enough to see how to get around, you know, and light coming all over the horizon and everything like that and by 6 30 it's plenty of light you know up until september and then it starts working on towards seven but it was just just been a marvelous day just full of joy and full of light and full of power and that sun is just shining bright and, and the breeze was just nice and perfect this morning as i went out around uh, taking care of the animals and doing chores and different things oh it just felt so nice and so wonderful just like those memories of the summer that I've had uh, ever since childhood. Oh, it's getting up early and hearing the birds sing and doing the chores and all those kinds of things. Such a marvelous thing. Just a marvelous, wonderful day all the way around. And I have such joy in my soul. Oh, <laughs> even all the little animals, they like that little animal. Hey, even all the little animals like that are all happy. They're all just happy and cheerful. And I got some new kittens, and they're all happy and cheerful and running around. And the dogs are temporarily back, you know, and they'll stay. They'll stay back away from the house, you know, and. And uh, for a while, and then, and then every few days, uh, after two or three days, then they'll come up, and they'll be laying right around the house. I suppose it's because they're getting, they want more and more extra treats or something, you know. And, uh, <laughs> they go back to hunt their own food, and then they come up to try to get extra, extra food. And then, then when that happens, they they go to stealing all the, <laughs> the cat's food and everything else that's there, you know, and and uh, and then they start chasing all my little kittens back under stuff, and they have to go hide and everything. Then I don't get to see them. But this morning they were back, and so I got to see all the little kittens, you know, running around and playing. Oh, that's that's always a treat for me. That's a that's a well, real entertainment. You know, it's nothing like little kittens when you have five or six of them playing, you know, together. 
And, and uh, you know, dogs, it's not like that. You know, you don't get that from dogs, you know. they Well, you do it right yeah, a little bit when they're puppies, you know, a little bit. But then pretty soon they they get to barking, you know, and making noise and, and running back too far, you know, and everything. And you don't see them as much. But the kittens, as long as the dog leaves them alone, they'll stay right up on right up here close, you know, right on the porch or the deck or somewhere. Well, all I had to do is just look out the window all the time. Anytime I look out there, they're just right there, you know, and, and they're playing and running around, and I get to see them all the time, even when I'm working, you know, and don't have to actually go out there to see them. And so that, that makes for a marvelous scene, and so all that made me happy this morning. And then I come down to that beautiful song, you know, about the lily of the valley, and I got to thinking about that, you know, where it said uh, the bright morning star. And then I got to thinking about Second Peter 1.19. It says, and uh, and uh, we have this more sure word, word of prophecy until the day star arises in your hearts. And that day star, of course, is that sun that arises. And that morning star, I got to think, well, what is the morning star? The morning star, that's that morning star that we see, that I'm so happy about. And so that cheers me up so much. That comes up at like 5 30 or 6 in the morning in the summertime you know that's the morning star and because the sun is really a star just like the others it's just that it's closer to us and so uh, and so jesus is like that in our soul and i got the <laughs> never thought about that one either until i didn't even think about that till after the video was over <laughs> that that jesus comes uh, every morning <laughs> and which is really every minute and every second if we think about it he'll come just like the sun comes up in the morning and rises more and more in our hearts jesus will rise more and more in our hearts and become that bright and morning star getting brighter and brighter and brighter until like that song says until we just go go on up in our praise and our joy you know just Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your heart. And like the song, what what is the song said? Uh, it said uh, the song actually was saying, oh, what was it? What uh, my memory? Uh, it was saying, I could see it in my mind. Uh, Okay, the lily of the valley. Oh, then sweeping up the glory. Sweeping, and it said sweeping up the glory. You know, like, hey, can you ever felt that glory just sweep over your soul? You know, and healing does that same way. I mean, that's good for this effective healing. It'll sweep your soul. I mean, it'll just sweep in, and you'll be lifted up, and then you'll find yourself healed. You know, as you rise in your faith, you let faith arise in your in your soul, and then the healing will just sweep up, and then we sweep up the glory and praise, and that glory, uh, all that, uh, it says, uh, 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 let's see, glory about joy and glory. You know, there's one, several verses that mention joy, and then they mention glory. Uh, great joy, joy, joy unspeakable, full of glory. Yeah, you get joy unspeakable, and then it sweeps up into glory. And then you get that glory, which they describe it as glory, but, but it's uh, it's really a very high form of joy that we call glory. It's not exactly the same as the Shekinah glory, but it can be the Shekinah. You'll feel like the Shekinah glory is there in it, you know. <laughs> and it can be a combination. And so that's so marvelous. And so anyway, we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can take another song, you know, and, and then I need to hurry up and get this, uh, the rest of that uh, lesson number 70 done. This is, uh, uh, this is it is now 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time in the United States of America, North America time, uh, one, uh, and uh, we'll always have a second healing lesson when there is time, and there was just barely time for me to get that in. Uh, I don't know if, uh, you know, and then get it uploaded and everything uh, today. And so I, I put in this second one. And also, I had to finish the lesson number 70. But this is a, this is going to be effective uh, healing lesson number 71. Or it will be a continuation of lesson number 70. And we had started to give some principles there. 
<laughs> as I said, I, I don't think I could go into another song because I'm still <laughs> I'm still trying to come down enough off that lily of the valley uh, to give the lesson. <laughs> I just want to sweep on up to glory and just say, oh, forget it, I'm sweeping up to glory <laughs> to see his shining face. <laughs> and, uh, and then I got to thinking about how healing all of that is. And if we take, if we will just, you know, the Bible, one of my principles I've got down here is that the Bible is a healing book. It's a healing book. And every scripture in the Bible is a healing scripture when you start thinking about it in the right way. That's how we miss it. People say, oh, you know, don't concentrate so much on healing. You know, just worry about yeah, you'll know, just worry about giving the salvation message, you know. Well, we do that, but you need you can do that together with the healing man. They can be both given in the same thing. The salvation message, in a way, if you really understand it, is the healing message. And they're all the same. You know, Jesus knows both of them. And so, but every verse in the Bible is a healing verse. You just stop and think about it and think about what it is actually saying. And then if you need to, sing that, go over that song, get that lily of the valley out and look at that and see if you don't say, you don't see that in that song. That every time they describe Jesus in another way, that if we will lift our understanding to what that really means, then that is opening up the heavens to the healing power to flow in our body. You know, the bright morning star. You know, I mean, what in the world is that besides joy and healing power and energy and vitality being bigger, uh, per, a perfect harmony, everything else coming into our soul and sweeping over us? And oh, and then the lily of the valley was the per it was perfect, and so was the you know the uh, uh, fairest of ten thousand without a flaw, you know, without a perfect without a flaw and Jesus is that way and all of those things you know that it mentions in there uh, about how he takes away all the burdens and all the fears and all he leaves behind is the love and the joy and the peace and you can just go right on down the line and, and all the verses of the Bible are like that too you know uh, where it says in Proverbs 3 and 6 you know, and this is one of the things, this is one of the things that ties right into effective healing. And, you know, and this is a, should be a principle of effective healing. Proverbs 3 and 6, I think I have got that one right. Uh, but it's, it's, or it's either, yeah, 3 and 6, I'm almost positive. Uh, but it's right there around chapter 3. It says that, uh, lean not until you're, uh, uh, and all uh, turn unto God in all thy ways, acknowledge Him, and lean not to your own understanding. Don't lean to your understanding of what this world says about sickness or disease or anything else, but turn to what the Scripture actually says about it. That I am the Lord that healeth thee, and all, uh, and uh, none of these I will place none of these diseases upon you if you obey my principle. And all those things, I, by his stripes we are healed. And, and turn, lean not unto your own understanding. You know, that trips us up so many times. Oh, you know, we start thinking about it logically. Oh, well, you know, I mean, uh, we, uh, you know, he, you know, people are sick and, and everything. And uh, maybe uh, we just don't have the time to spend in prayer long enough to get them healed in the first place. That's the misunderstanding of it anyway. Uh, that we just don't want to, you know, it might take, it might take so long. We might have to pray so long if they'd already be, you know, uh, completely uh, gotten worse before, you know, that, or we'll just start thinking about it in material ways. Well, you know, there's material remedies, and let's try the remedies, material remedies first, like you say, and then, and then uh, <laughs> we'll try. And in the last resort, we'll try prayer, and and then so all those kinds of things are not are leading to your own understanding, and then. Uh, uh, in uh, Philippians chapter 4 and 4, where it's, it talks about uh, uh, rejoice, I say rejoice evermore, and then it says again, I say rejoice. That rejoicing, just like the verse that says, uh, a cheerful heart doeth good like a medicine, just the same as a medicine, a cheerful heart doeth good 
like a medicine. And the uh, rejoicing sends those balancing, healing juices throughout the body. It balances things out. The rejoicing does that if we're rejoicing all the time, especially. And then 4 and 8, it says, uh, if anything is lovely or good report or uh, lovely or, or pure or good report, think on these things. Those are healing thoughts. And you put all these verses together, and you're going to be in pretty good shape as far as receiving healing power if you got all of these verses flowing in your mind all the time and you're following them and doing them uh galatians 5 22 you know do we have that fruit of the spirit or do we not have it do we really have the fruit of the spirit flowing if we really have the fruit of the spirit flowing uh in us then love that's going to equal love joy peace gentleness goodness faith and meekness and temperance uh, uh, and long suffering against those things there's no law meaning that there's no need of a law when you have all those things flowing in you you take everything takes care of itself and all the all the laws all is met every legal requirement is met every uh, 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 uh every uh, uh moral aspect and every moral uh, uh, uh more and every uh uh, every moral condition and everything and character and integrity and honesty and everything else is met in that love joy peace gentleness goodness faith and meekness and temper and long suffering and, you know uh, uh, patience uh, and so uh we put all that in there and then you put psalms 91 in there look at that psalm 91. and psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd and where does he lead us in the green pastures along the still water and, uh, and he prepares a table before us you know how, how, what does all of that have to do with sickness or illness? You know, you think about, well, what is he preparing before us? He's preparing before us all the truths and the principles of God and everything. And that all of that, uh, uh, all of those things with the joy of the Lord, which strengthen us. And, uh, yea, I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, uh, he'll lay me down in green pastures and rod and the staff. They comfort me and all of those things. Psalm 91, he that uh, dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Well, we're in the secret place of the Most High. And then if, if you, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now what? All what? Almighty. All healing. Almighty. It's Almighty. And so like I said, it said, you could just as well, you know, like, uh, I mean, just as well, and it would make the perfect sense, uh, totally, uh, you know, like this, uh, the Holy Bible, you, you could just as well call that, uh, that the, uh, the healing Bible. Or the, or the, because it'd be like the whole holy Bible and the holy could, is uh, holiness. Holy and holiness is wholeness. It's spelt with a W H O L E N E S S, just the same as with a holiness, H O L I N E S. It's the holy, wholeness Bible, the holiness Bible, the holy Bible, the healing Bible. And it is a healing Bible. It's a Bible of healing that tells you how to be healed. You know, we just miss it. We miss it because we overlook what it is really saying. For one reason or another, we're looking only how to, <laughs> I suppose it's because of the tradition. Everything you said Jonathan Edwards and his uh, sermon uh, <laughs> called uh, um, <laughs> Oh, boy, he had the string, and, and it, he said, you're being hung on, what is that called? A, a sinner's in the hands, <laughs> well, ever since Johnson entered sinners in the hands of an angry God, where you're hanging over the hell fire by a string, the preachers have been preaching uh, hell hot, you know, and, and the fire, and like it says, that when I was a child, you know, you could feel the flames coming up under the pews, and all that, and so the concentration has been upon avoiding the fire, avoiding the flames, and that's been the central message uh, for a long time, <laughs> especially in the 19th century and uh, early 20th century, of uh, avoiding the flames. That's the the main idea of the message, and, and getting people into the church and things like that, and so. Uh, by doing that, 
you tend to just rush right to that and pass over all of the scriptures uh, or, or pass over the the uh, the deeper meaning of the scriptures, which also are, mean salvation. You know, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I am come to give them life and that more abundantly. <laughs> he, he didn't say I've come to give them life, but it may be full of disease and illness. You know, he said I'll come to give them life and that more abundantly. And you could go on and on every verse like that. You're forgetting the word abundantly. You're saying he came to give them life, to save them from the soul, to save them from hell. But he also came to give them life more abundantly. Out of his innermost being shall flow, out of our innermost being shall flow rivers of living water, full of life and power and healing. Rivers of living water, and uh, uh, that's uh, immortal. The water that is immortal for the healing of the nations. And so, uh, we will hurry into. We have a well. There's plenty of time in the future to keep going into this and I'm going to keep going into I'm, I, I should just what well, I should just go through the whole Bible when I do my through the Bible if I do it you know the uh, and this, we're doing the exposition of New Testament now at our uh, six o'clock time period when we finish that we may do an exposition of the whole Bible I should just go through the whole thing and, and, and for every verse I come to show you how that verse applies to healing right in the very beginning in a, uh, he uh, created them in, in his image in his image of harmony and perfection created he them, and they got oh, they turned away from that image of harmony and perfection, and that's why they well you know became disobedient, and they uh, turned away from that perfect love of God. But he intends for them, and that he had to finally give them an example of what love really means, so they they could turn back. And then they can receive healing. Okay, so then uh, are we? Uh, we want to hurry up and get these principles up. I've got about seven of six or seven of them. Is that we principle number one? We should always ask ourselves: we said, uh, if uh, we were created in the beginning uh, by uh, God, uh, created in His image, what does that mean? And then. Think about the spiritual creation when, when we become a new creature in Christ Jesus and then we were cre a new creature created in, in Christ Jesus under good works and so forth like that. And then think about the fact that we are told to think on these things of God and, and not upon the things of the world. And by that, we keep that creation of God holy and we are in a sense creating ourselves again in his image and so the principle is to ask yourself or oh, am I creating myself in the image of God by what I'm doing by my habits and what I'm reading and what I'm studying and by the scriptures I'm reading and everything or am I creating myself in the image of the world and uh, you know by uh, listening to too much TV, you're creating yourself in the image of the world because all of that is being soaked in by your mind and then your mind does its job on your body. You know, it always does. Whatever you put into your mind, it's going to reverberate right through every cell of your body. You sit there watching a scary movie and then... Uh, Decades later, it's going to come back to you in a, in a nightmare. It's going to come back into your, into your uh, problems with your body. It's going to come back. Every bit of that is going to come back on you. So are we creating ourselves in the image of God or in the image of the world? If we go out and spend all of our time in worldly places, bars and nightclubs and stuff, we're creating ourselves in the image of the world, and therefore there's no responsibility, uh, as it were, by God to keep us healthy. You know, it's not going to. Those things going into our mind is going to work more and more against our health. And so that's the principle is to keep yourself healthy and keep yourself receiving healing power by keeping your mind upon the things of God. Uh, and then number two is that all, yeah, we said that all scripture is about healing. 
And that's very important. Understand that all these scriptures that people are saying are not about healing. It's not because they're not about healing. It's because they just don't see what this, the, the full meaning. And as I've said before many times, and this is, about, this is a very important concept too, is that all of the scripture, just like it says, all scripture is inspired by God and is proper for doctrine and reproof and, and to prepare the man of God to all, uh, furnish him to all things. And I, all scripture <coughs> is also, every verse of the Bible is a diamond in that it has many facets. And, you know, and we can perfectly explain one facet of it and still miss some of those other facets. And so that is what's happened. When you turn that diamond and look at all facets, every verse in the Bible, I suppose even the begats, I could find something in there that would show you, you know, that <laughs> how that, uh, you know, by the fact that they lived a long time or something that would show you that. But everything just about in the every scripture shows a healing aspect to it. Uh, and so uh, then number three, healing and perfect health is the real substance. It's the real substance of the universe. Healing and perfect health because it's right there with the love of God which makes up the universe and it, uh, his healing power so that uh, per, uh, perfect health uh, as a uh, man of God, the uh, new man, the son of God, beloved, behold what manner of love the Father has told among us that we should be called the sons of God, sons and daughters of God. That son of God that is then has the DNA of God flowing in their veins, the blood of Jesus flowing in their veins. They become a, the true person uh, of uh, God's outlining and his true image that he had in the beginning of what he wanted man to become. And as such, they are the, cl uh, the classic prototype you know, and whereas sick, sin, sickness, and disease is the uh, inferior model. If you remember <laughs> on uh, the uh, that show, uh, uh, Kit, where uh, <laughs> oh, uh, what, what, what was that, that called? Um, uh, well, the one where they had the uh, the vehicles, I'll think of it in a minute, and Yet there was one of them that uh, there was two uh, kit. Uh, the kit was made uh, for that show, and then there was an inferior model also. One of them I can't remember which one it was. There was two of them. One of them was the inferior model, and the other one was the real model, the perfect model. That was the one that the star of the show used. And so that's what I'm getting at. <clears throat> and so uh, healing and perfection is the true model. And the sin, sickness, and, and disease and all, that's the inferior model. And so, uh, and then the principle number four is mm, that, we, that we are to replace then, replace sin, sickness, and disease with health by thinking of ideas of health and uh, thinking only the ideas that produce health and perfection. God... Uh, being only perfect and harmonious, then we should look for ways to think about perfection and harmony because that is what are the qualities of God, and that's who He is. We should always say, what would Jesus do, WWJD? We should always say, who is God, and what is God like? That's what we're going to try to be like. We'll be perfect for, for, for your Father in Heaven is perfect, uh, and uh, be like be like Jesus, and be like God as much as, as you can, uh, and uh, always be looking to that. And it says, um, number five, see things in God's eyes and the way he's, see things the way God sees them, not the way the world sees them, or not the way somebody that is interpreting the Bible in a limited way sees them, but see it the way God sees it. See the human being, see mankind, see the son, his son, and daughters of God, that he said, Behold, what manner of love the Father so among us, we should be called sons and daughters of God. See that person that he is seeing when he says, You are my son or my daughter. See that person, not what somebody might think, some other human being might think, but what God sees. 
and so and then what the same thing about sin uh, about sin sickness and sickness and disease and I'll see what God said sees and see his qualities and see how that if we're like him and become like him and have his DNA flowing us, then we are to become like that free of disease and full of harmony and perfection and so, and he sees it that way. And so since he sees it that we should move more and we got to move toward it, of course, but we should move more and more toward that real image. And then number six, the love of God. Uh, seeing the love of God, you know, when we talk about it, we in that song uh, where the love of God reaches beyond the, uh, is is beyond the high, goes beyond the highest star and reaches to the lowest hell. See that that way, and see health is doing that same thing, going far beyond the highest star, reaching down to the lowest hell, the lowest pit that you're in, or the lowest or most amount of disease you have, and so uh, does the healing power then. And so, uh, and then, uh, okay, so then we better pray, and. Uh, that's the most important thing to pray, to pray for our leaders and everything and to pray for all the people with sicknesses. And so we pray now, Father, that you would heal people of all their diseases. And Lord, uh, just give them that an uh, image of health and healing and give them an image of your love and all and ability to rise and be healed in the name of Jesus, to let faith arise in their heart, to let the full image of God rise in their heart and let everything perfect rise in their heart. And oh Father, just help you love all cancer and all lung disease and all heart disease of every kind. Give them a good strong heart, good strong lung. Oh dear God, we pray to give them a good strong liver and heal them of all cirrhosis and all hepatitis and anything, Lord, and it just uh, any damage caused by alcohol. Oh Father, I just pray that you would just cause them to have the uh, ability to lay down that alcohol, walk up, and never come back, never miss it, never even have any of those cravings, Lord, and they have those cigarettes, and never, and be perfectly healed of any kind of nic nicotine craving, and walk off from that, and oh, God, Father, I just pray, you heal people with all diabetes, and balance their system, balance their blood sugar, Oh, dear God, and balance all every every hormone in their body, all their pancreal function, all their their kidney function, balance it all, all their heart, you know, any damage caused their heart. And now we pray, dear Father, that you heal people of all osteoporosis and all their joint pain, every arthritic pain, every every, every rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, oh, dear God, and all the joint pain, and give them good strong bone, bones and good strong joints to dance before you and glorify your name and be praised and honor you. Oh, dear God, now we pray, dear God, that you would heal uh, uh, lupus and heal uh, multiple sclerosis and heal sciatica and genetic nerve pain and all nerve pain and all mental uh, instabilities and problems and uh, and problems with the nerves and the blood that causes the mental instability. And I would pray dear God now that you would cause uh, give people a balance in all ways and all their hormones and I would pray dear God that you'd heal all skin diseases, all scabies and all sciatica and all, 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 all scabies and all of uh, the uh, 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 of the shingles and things like that and, and all of that kind of nervous pain and dear God we pray that you would just heal people oh dear God of, uh, of uh, all uh, of their uh, problems with their blood circulation or their nerves we pray now that you just lift people far above all of uh, those uh, addictions to any kind of drug, oh dear God, any kind of whether it's a, whether it's a addiction to marijuana or addiction to uh, uh, coke or, or addiction to crack cocaine, uh, cocaine, heroin, oh dear God, fentanyl, dear God, any of the barbiturates, be the barbital, methamphetamine, oh dear God, that you just uh, break that addiction now that they'll have no more cravings for it, be led way beyond it, dear God, way beyond that, the need of that, and uh, way beyond the need of cigarettes, way beyond the need of alcohol, to that high amount of joy, way up there above, so far above it all, they can never even remember, even even have, or having a craving, oh dear God, of those things, and up in that eagle's nest, up there, up on that, protected by that eagle's wings. And oh, dear God, with that mighty job, God, that is thousands of times higher and, and more enjoyable and a greater buzz and a greater, oh, dear God, a greater flow and a greater speed and a greater uh, a, a greater sense of a rush and everything, every other kind of thing to flow in. Oh, dear Jesus, now we pray that you would just uh, cause us to be, uh, just protect now 
all of thy uh, call us to be raised above all oppression, depression, or obsession. All obsession with the habits of this life. All feeling of being oppressed by anybody or anything or any event or any set of circumstances or any group of people being oppressed out of another one. Oh, dear God, just, to be, just deliver us from all those things and heal us from all uh, the sense of being obsessed with the habits of this life or any sense of being depressed, blue, lonely, uh, all full of uh, pain or sorrow, and just uh, just he raise us above all those things, you know, above all fear. Oh, dear God, by our love, and and now we pray, dear God, that you would just heal all, uh, that you would uh, cause a, a, a harmony and a healing to come to all of our pets, and oh, dear God, that you would just cause them to find any any kind of uh, any domestic uh, our domestic animals that, that are homeless will find a. Uh, uh, will find a forever home that they can enjoy and it'll be a heavenly atmosphere and Lord now we pray that you just protect our missionaries on the foreign fields dear God that, dear God that you would just give them protective power and give them a passion for Christ and give them, give them the ability to preach and the ability to witness and a passion on their soul and, and a love in their heart and Lord just help them dear God to be provided for in a mighty way and have a rewarding experience and Lord we, now we pray for our soldiers on, the, on their foreign areas and Lord that they will be protected against any kind of permanent damage oh they're going to return safely home and lord now we pray for our police officers just protect them uh, from any damage or any kind of violence or anything oh dear god to prevent them from serving out their time and now we pray dear god for our leaders of our country for our congressmen and our other leaders oh dear god give them wisdom and understanding that they may lead this country properly all of our governors that they may lead their states properly and lord dear god now we pray Oh, dear God, uh, that you would uh, touch our pastors of our churches, that they may have a passion for the Lord, and our song leaders and music directors and choir directors that have a passion for the Lord, and they will be able to lead with power and strength and, and love. And, oh, dear God, uh, just give them the wisdom and the understanding. Oh, dear God, and Lord, now we pray, dear God, that you would just touch our all of our farmers, dear God, man. And all of our Sunday school teachers and everything to the power of the Lord and all of our farmers that they will have a great uh, productive, uh, a great harvest this sea, a great crop. Uh, uh, just for, just give them a, a great uh, 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 resource uh, in their uh, give them a great and plenteous crop this year and lord dear god just touch all their animals and protect all them and now we pray you protect the ranchers and protect their livestock and cause them to be uh plenteous and cause them to be uh to have that great uh, uh ability to to uh provide for them oh uh, to uh lord just give them the uh the a rewarding experience with their working with their horses and their cows and a great uh, sense of of uh, oh dear god what am i what am i trying to say uh, uh cause their uh their righteous and to be protected from outward resources that might tend to want to move against our ranches oh like they are in some of the areas that we know of and lord now that you would just cause them dear god to be to have a an outpouring of thy love and an outpouring of great prosperity <laughs> thank you lord finally come to work just make just cause our farmers and our ranches to be to have a great prosperity and just just make them prosperous in what they're doing for a living we pray all these things and ask all these things in the name of thy lord uh, blessed holy lord jesus amen amen and amen